all on the way where we, we, we where we practice back in the days was a little was a little bit different than now. I mean, we practice all uh, different uh, things. Like there is more technical uh, guy, there is more like foundation footworks guy. But the 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 truth is that we always try to um, to push uh, like. Back in the days, Marcio was the, 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 the guy from my, crew with, from my crew who did the power move, was super strong on this. And the way he practiced this power move, I do it. I did the same with footworks, you know. So I push myself to be strong as him with, at the same level or maybe not, but I trying to do like to push myself to be like him in this way of power move. Salute to the subscribers, those that live beyond the cipher. I am your host, Ill Skills. This is Beyond the Cipher, the podcast that shows the humanity and the superhuman. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. They cost you nothing. Today, for episode 26 from France with Love, we have what I would call a master of breaking foundation, OG in the French scene, Winner of countless solo competitions and crew competitions with this crew, Ledger Team Obstruction, we have B Boy J. Welcome to the podcast, J. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm super happy to be there with you guys. So, yes, nice no. to have this uh, possibility to share with you. So, yes, let's do it. And we appreciate your time, man. We know there's a there's a huge time difference between uh, me and you. It's what eight o'clock where you are. It's yeah. 11 in the morning here. Um, the sun is still shining bright for yes. you. That That's yes. really dope. <laughs> it's rough time, so it's fun, yes. It's nice. No doubt. Nice. And yes. any, like I was telling you before, anytime we get to talk to, you know, an international person and kind of yep. get some of that international perspective, it's always really good. So we yeah. do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Now, when I was introduced um, to you through... Uh, you know, through video and just the history of you. One thing that stood out to me that I wanted to ask you just right off the bat, how yeah. does a guy like yourself who's so heavy in foundation, footwork, so on and so forth, how do you end up with a team, with a crew like Ledger Team, who is heavy in power and tricks? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I understand, and it's it's funny fact because actually, um, back in the days, me and my crew were like um, on on the way where we, we, we where we practice back in the days was little was a little bit different than now. I mean, we practice all uh, different uh, things. Like there is more technical uh, guy, there is more like foundation footworks guy, but. The, the the truth is that we always try to um, to push uh, like back in the days Marcio was the the, the, the guy from my crew with, from my crew who did the power move was super strong on this and the way he practiced this power move I do it I did the same with footworks you know so I push myself to be strong mm -hmm. as him with at the same level or maybe not but i trying to do like to push myself to be like him in this way of power move but also we even if i focus more on my footwork uh i always try to do my best with power move because breaking is global you know like we can't just practice one move or one style i mean 
it's better to be open-minded and to try to push in a different way. So mm. I practice uh, a lot of power move actually, and it makes me feel good with footworks. No, makes sense because I push for the flare, for windmill, and because of this, I understand something with my footwork. So yeah, no, but that's no. true. But back in the days, there is like, a, I think there is more technical b-boy on my crew than people that make it footwork. Actually, we are just two or three practicing that uh, footwork style. Yeah. Mm. Now, um, was it was it strategic for you to focus on that, or is that just what you loved? Did you guys look at it like, okay, we're a crew, we're going to have a, a strong power guy, a strong uh, footwork foundation guy, a strong flow, strong tricks, or was it just like, do what you love and we'll practice the rest as well? No, it's a really good question because I think first it came from me, uh, it came from me, yes. But mm -hmm. that's true that that's at this time, uh, we organized things like this, like, okay, so you are already good and fine with footwork, so push this time because mm. it's like a, a teamwork you know like so it's gonna be your job so you can push you even if you like power move still do it for fun but that's true that in battle competition like okay so your job is footworks yeah oh wow so you guys uh are like like you know, professionals where you specialize, like a doctor. Every, you know, we're all doctors, but I'm a surgeon. You're yes. a brain surgeon. <laughs> yes. You do plastic surgery, so on and so forth. Oh wow, yes. that's really dope. Yes. So it, it, yes, it was like this because I, I mean, it was not just because uh, we decided. It it was also because back in the days, the crew on crew battle was more like um, not, not famous, but more trend. I I don't know if it's yes. So we used to practice like this uh, because it makes sense at this time now it's totally different but at this time it makes sense to be like specialists like this yeah no doubt now i will start with uh my traditional question how jay did you get into hip-hop and breaking yeah so i started in 1997 at age of uh got 17 years old so okay. i start a little bit late but back in the days was uh, not like this. At 17 was okay, you know. Now, I mean, people start at 8, 7, <laughs> uh, 10. But yes, before was not like this. So I start at 17. Um, because I, I, I was like um, super, in, I put interest on hip-hop culture. My brother was listening to uh, hip-hop. Uh, we back in the days in France in 1984, we have this TV show called H I P A H O P, mean hip hop. Les frères et sœurs, quelle joie et quel bonheur de se retrouver tous les dimanches sans fin sur TF1. Notre invité d'honneur aujourd'hui, Herbie Hancock avec le Grand Master DSD. Well, well, well. Mais avant tout, la leçon, ce que l'on vient de faire, la chaîne électrique. Le premier de la chaîne, c'est lui qui commence. Tu casses la main, le bras. L'épaule, la tête, le torse, les reins, les pieds, et tu remontes en passant par l'autre bras. Celui qui est enchaîné à ton voisin. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Tu lui passes tes vibrations d'une douce. Flip it in the house. Don, 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 don. Ok, c'est cool comme ça. Deux. Oui, oui, encore un peu, you can do it. Tout le monde derrière, tape les mains. Vas-y, encore un peu, encore un petit peu. Ça y est? Bien. Alors. 
Right. Um, I, I was super young, so four years old. So I don't really, I don't remember. But my brother practiced a little bit this kind of old school uh, popping things. So um, it was like uh, normal at home to dance, you know, just dance kind of Michael Jackson things, like not totally good, not totally bad, but just for fun, you know. And then I, when I start to be like a teenager, I start to like this kind of, I don't know, like stuff like, you know, to jump everywhere, to like skates, BMX, roller, jump, uh, like I mix. All the extreme, extreme sports. Extreme sports. Parkour, were you into that? Yeah, parkour, I want to mean that, that, yes. And and I I just discovered in a video clip on TV, uh, I discovered this, like, it was kind of boys band. You know that boys band? Like, yeah. yeah. They, they did, like, some handstand, was not so good, but I was like, I remember this kind of dance, like, hip-hop breaking dance. Like, back in the days, my brother used to do it. So I was like, okay, I have to try again this because I think I really like it. You need nothing. You don't need to buy a, a, a bike. You don't need to buy a skateboard. You need nothing. And, and I like it. Like I have to find someone to be able to explain me some basic. And back in the days, uh, to put it on the con- con- context, I, 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 I'm born in a small city, you know, like super small city in France. And there is just one guy uh, at this time who have some basic move of breaking. So I saw this guy and he explained not too much, but he was practicing. So I was looking at him like, okay, 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 trying to understand. And slowly, slowly, I, uh, I did it like, um, I understand some move. He, this guy, uh, the name is Momos. I have just to props him because... I think without him, I was not, not I, I can be there like now and I can't be there. And this guy showed me first, they give me some VHS, the, the tape, you know, from a uh, Rocksteady crew. Listen to yourself, man. Oh. 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 And it was nice because it was it was a um, practice video about Rocksteady Crew. So it was not a battle. It was just practice. So, they, so these are like underground tapes. Super underground tape. And and because of this, I understand a lot of uh, things. Like even the way they, they wear stuff, uh, the way they do the top rock. I was like, okay, so it's like this. So this guy introduced me in breaking, not as a teacher, but m- more like, okay, I'm gonna dance, you're gonna dance with me, and you're mm. gonna learn like this. Because Which, now, yes. Not to cut you off, but that was kind of the old way, right? We didn't go to a classroom, we went, we just went to practice, and people yeah. were practicing, and you pick up a little bit here, you pick up a little bit there, and you start to yeah. develop your own style. Yeah, because at this time in France, uh, breaking was not so famous that now, like, mm-hmm. There is a big gap in France. Uh, breaking was famous early in the 80s, after the USA, you know, uh, after this wave, like this big wave in USA with hip hop culture. So it starts mm-hmm. in 1980, between 1982 and 1984 in France. 1984, because of this TV show, was super famous, hip hop. Mm-hmm. Then it's kind of, it disappeared. And the people start to dance the hype you know hype is like kind of uh, mc hammer things la. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah like the like the party dances right yeah more like this and uh, breaking was a little bit like not die but was not so famous and mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I, I mean, I start to be one of the, so the, we call it the middle school in France. So this this period when breaking start to be again trendy, like start to be not famous, but good. So right. I start, yes, at this time, at this period, uh, yeah. But so there is no, uh, yeah, at, at this period, there is no class, there is no teacher, there is just nothing. It was underground stuff, yes. Wow. And um, what, so what is the French scene like when you come into it? Are there, are there battles? Are there crew rivalries? Are there crews at all? Or is it just individuals that are kind of bringing it back and keeping it alive underground? At, at this time? Yeah, in 97. Was more like, um, was the beginning of the crew. Uh, totally that. Like, of course, there is ancient crew like Actual Force. C'est pas qu'une thèse avec actuelle force Bah hey, oh, James, quand tu veux Yeah, yeah, yo yeah. hey, Je voudrais entendre du bruit Pour Gabon, Gouda, Xavier, Pascal was the first famous crew in France. There is also a Paris City Breaker. So most part of this school was from Paris, but breaking start to be like uh, to be to be like something that in even if if you are not from Paris, you have this kind of people there. They, they they try to buy something, uh, and yes, uh, I mean I start like alone, but slowly slowly there is people around me. So yes, we create a crew, but it was the beginning of this. This uh, period, I mean, are we, maybe we're going to talk about this later, but yes, like this period that the crew start to be like strong. Mm -hmm. And yes, but it was totally the beginning of uh, of this. Yeah, no doubt. Now, was uh, Legitime, was that the first crew that you were that you were in that you formed back then? Or what was the crew back then? No, no, I, I start with the crew. Uh, we create a crew. The name was Combo uh, because we are like, it was this time like uh, Street Fighter 2, you know, the, the, yeah, the video. Yeah. <laughs> and so when you did, uh, we and we start to did some hit, hit combo, so we our combo, it's nice. We're like, it means like you, you do a move and then another move and then another move. So it's a combo. So we were like, okay, it's nice combo. Sounds good. We put a K instead of C, <laughs> like combo, <laughs> like wow. But yeah. we were like, yes, we were young and it was like, it was like yes, yeah, super nice. So we create combo first. And Legitime Obstruction was already uh, created in 2001, if I don't see, 2003, sorry, 2003. But it's funny because the story is that we met some part of this crew in 2002. Mm. Okay, so combo and the other crew was Legitime, was not Legitime Obstruction. Okay. And we mixed together with a, a third crew. Was the third crew was obstruction, and we mix. We let combo. We put. We take a, out combo, and we just create legitim obstruction. And it was in two thousand three. Yes. Oh, okay. So yes. no legitim combo, man, or combo legitim. <laughs> yeah, but now we decide because at this period, like combo was uh, okay in uh, west part of France, mm -hmm. and legitim obstruction did already some. Uh, good battle in in france like in paris so they were like a little bit more famous mm. so when we start to buy something like super strong we we take out combo and just create a new crew it is still legitimate obstruction but the member inside are from combo and, and legitimate legitimate. Team. okay yeah. yeah so so they had the the bigger brand at the time totally yeah. no doubt yes. yeah. so um so do you guys just meet and kind of vibe I mean, Legitime and, and Combo, do you guys just meet and vibe? Are you ever rivals? Like, how did this, 
this uh this connect- team come together yeah the connection was in 2002 in uh, in the backstage of one battle one local battle and the connection was just because we made we made a lot of joke about totally bullshit joke and the connection <laughs> was okay this guy are my guy like we are like com- compatible like totally it's gonna be fine to be with this guy so we start to practice together we start to share together about life so it's totally a friendly crew like we are friends first then we create the crew but yes so we met in 2002 and we start to buy something serious about dance after mm, yeah okay yeah so um you know it's it's 2021 so we're a couple years out but your country landed the the first, you know, break in being a part of the Olympics. So it's going to be in Paris 2024. What yep. is the general vibe of like the French scene that this is going to come to your country and that you guys were able to to make this happen? Yeah, I, I think it's a um, uh, mixed feeling because uh, when it's when they, it was like kind of official, uh, I mean, I mean, maybe before it was official, some part of the the, the, the people start to say that it's gonna kill something, mm. uh, and some other parts say that oh, maybe it's gonna change nothing because we already have a big competition with kind of standard, you know. And I mean, makes sense for me, like uh, in, in in my point of view, it's like yes, we already have this kind of underground competition in France, and we have also this uh, commercial competition and as maybe you know in france there is back in the days not maybe now but back in the days 2000 between 2004 2014 so during 10 years there is a lot of big event in france there we invite yeah. korea usa we invite a lot in france because yeah. we have some you talking about back when when you've all was active and uh, the b boy world was bringing people over and yeah you guys were having big productions over there. Yeah, and it was easy in France because maybe you you don't know that, but it's because there is help from the government to make this kind of events, oh. like like kind of social events, like you know, like to make these people from um, from the hood. Okay, I, I mean, okay, <laughs> to to yes, because the, it's political things, you know, so to 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 make it something like you know you see it's people from the hood but they are able to do something blah 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 mm. it's totally political but they they, in, they invest on in on this so they put money so it was easy at this time to organize uh, this kind of event so right, so, the, so the government uses uh the, the french government was using break and almost like community outreach totally that yes and, and putting a lot of money into it from what i saw in these events yeah yeah no doubt so, yeah. Yeah. So when when the Olympics starts, the, the this topic about Olympics, yes, there is the it, it divides people a little bit. Now it's I think it's better. Like people understand that it's something different and whatever you know. Like let's do it. We will see. Uh, we will see if, if it's gonna be good or, or no. Actually, I think now there is. Uh, there is kind of issue like I mean it's it seems difficult to organize because I I realize that um, in many countries they start to you know there is kind of fede- federal things federal yeah. dance even in USA I saw that and you know they never pay attention in breaking before and now they are like okay we are here we can do we can try to organize some events uh, we can invest some money. Uh, and before, when we ask help from these people, they say nothing. They say no, or they say, sorry, we are not able to do it. And it's the same in France. Like, we have this um, uh, French Federation of Dance, and that's that's good. I mean, it's cool. But before, we, we ask from them to help or to organize something, but they, they, they don't, no. don't want to know about breaking. Like, oh, no, breaking is too... It's too ghetto. It's too la- yes. So you guys were just the little street kids that they didn't want to deal with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt. So yes, and I mean, you know, sometimes people from the breaking scene are ru- rude. Rude. Uh, sorry for my accent. And no, it's so okay. it's, not, 
it's not easy to work with with them uh, and I understand that so they, they start to understand that okay so it's not so easy to uh, organize this Olympic um, so we will see uh, I saw Russia they are super good on it like they put uh, the, the event in Russia are super good in USA I didn't realize that's yeah, you did you see that Russian event that just happened a, maybe a few weeks ago, the uh, international championship yeah. or whatever? Yeah. What did you? But I, I don't mean to cut you off, but what did you think about that? Because I really enjoyed that event. I'm just lamping with my EK Woo, shit. Truck jewels, obviously, the man's pay, but of course not. Brother can't get his props like Winston. When I cruise up the block in my 560, lamping on my metro phone. Don't get three little walk the door, I'm like a sucker. Yeah, you look the other way, that's when I know you're on my dick, kid. But it's okay, it's normal. Relax, your whole head's busted. Caught in the rap skit, they couldn't be trusted. Cause my sound's pound from here to Okinawa. Like, I enjoyed the music of that, like, in the 515. I enjoyed the uh, music of that event because they were actually playing real breaks. Yep. Yep. I enjoyed that, that it was a crew, even though yep. they weren't in the same crew, but it was five on five instead of one on one. Yeah. And, um, I don't know. It, it just seemed like it just seemed like a really good good thing. And I wanted to ask you before we move on, why wasn't France there? Yeah, no, but I, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, you see that. So that's why I told you like there is some issue with the French Federation, or I don't know how they did it. Mm -hmm. Maybe for the visa was not so easy, and you, we are also in the COVID time, so I don't know because. You know, I'm not on this part of the French federal thing, so I, I don't know everything, so I can't talk because I don't know. Uh, but yes, I'm a I'm little bit sad because I saw that there is just three people from France uh, been to this competition. So, yes, but that's true that Russia knows how to make it. It was super nice, this event it was super mm -hmm. good. So if Olympics look like this, it can be nice, actually, because... You can see that it's like kind of commercial because it's the big stage, but there is still the vibe of hip hop culture. So we will see. I hope it's going to be like this. Yeah. Right. And, you know, um, so the, the Olympics, when we actually are in France, is going to be one on one. So yeah. do you think that with events like we already have Red Bull BC one, which is a high, you know, a high value production. Yeah. Um, do you think that the Olympics is going to just be like that, just like another Red Bull BC one? Who knows? We will see. Maybe, maybe not. I mean, for some part, I think no, because the way they, the way they in France, the way they did it now, they do, they do it now. Sorry, it's this kind of qualification. There is a qualification in different city, and you can see that there is kind of. Um, People uh, like even if you are kids, you can uh, pretend to 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 do this event. So they push you to um, they push this new generation to make it because of Olympic, and it's it's nice. Uh, and you can have also some help from the federal uh, dance uh, things. So. You know, Red Bull, there is the qualification part, and that's super nice because the way they, now they are in breaking for almost 20, 12, 20 years, so they, they know how to do it. Like, the, the production are nice. For the French Federation, you can see it's not the same. Uh, the, the invest is not the same. They, they put less money, or maybe they don't have all this. Um, um, they are not able to do it like Red Bull. Right, just not the same production value, yeah. Yes, yes, uh, uh, yes, yeah, I, I want to mean this. And, um, but it's the, the ways you have it's kind of qualification. So 
like you take time to to take this step like this there is the first step the second step so there is a lot of qualification so it's kind of different that than red bull because sometimes red bull they invite people like eight people and there is eight people from qualification you know and mm -hmm. from from now olympic it's more just qualification and they maybe try to push some people um that I understand because I told you I'm not part of the uh, French Federation, right. but they, they, they push people, then some five, five or six people from the new generation or the middle generation, they, they, yes, they, they, um, they try to make it like uh, they invite, they try to put them on some competition to make some qualification in France or in some country like so, yes. Okay. It's, it's it's okay, but it's different. It's not like Red Bull for sure. It's it's different for me. No doubt. And you've actually judged uh, Red Bull events, and um, and you've actually taught at the camps, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is um is that? What's your connection with Red Bull? I don't have a, uh, uh, my connection is good because I know people that are working from this brand from Red Bull, but. Um, the point is that uh, I'm, I dance for more than 20 years now and I focus on footworks and there is no too much people in France that focused on this. There yeah. is like Bruce Wayne. David Cola, uh, there is also uh, Nasera, uh, and but uh, I mean that they, they, of course, they call me for you know for footworks um, uh, workshop or to be judged about this kind of uh, footworks battle. You take part of the Red Bull like the side events, you know. So so yes, so I mean in in France, the Red Bull try to work with different people and it's nice yes yeah no doubt and you know i do have one concern with with the red bull and, and it kind of leads in it like leads into my concern with the olympics so yeah. when you look at red bull right you see that the red bull judges are basically people who are part of the team the, yeah. a lot of the winners are part yeah. of the team yeah and i would hate for the olympics to really just be like you're showcasing your talent, but you're never going to win. You know what I'm saying? I think that that's a big problem in, in the in the breaking scene is that I think a lot of people are opting out, especially of the bigger events, because they know they have zero chance of yeah. winning yeah. because of politics. I mean, yeah. it's like if you if you if, if I come to a, or if you come to an event out here and let's say, you know, it's France versus USA and you're part of the all star team. But all the judges are American. All the host is American. Everything's American. You're gonna walk in thinking like we don't have a chance in hell of winning this competition. They just brought us over here to uh, yeah. to showcase how good the Americans are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I don't know. Uh, I I don't know how for Olympics. I don't know how they're gonna do because I think the judging uh, part is gonna be the difficult parts to mm -hmm. manage you know because they have to create something like a judging system may i know that there is already one that uh, maybe they use it for some events but i'm not sure that they're gonna use this one actually okay because it should be like uh, you know like i mean we know you and me like we knows about breaking so we can see but they have to create something that people that they know nothing about breaking that they they are they must be able to understand you know like okay so it, the red one against the blue one so the red one he he he, he win because of this poor move footwork so we have to educate people so I don't know how they are gonna do this judging system but yeah and about people who are gonna judge. 
I don't know. I think they they must have kind of certificate like to be able to judge like the. This yeah, because the Olympics be the, is, biz, is big business, right? The Olympics is biz, is big business, so they're not going to handle it like a regular local jam. There's going to yeah. be like, you know, like there's going to be a judge's certification. There's going to be like, I mean, the difference between breaking. So you have breaking that is highly, you know, uh, subjective. But when I'm watching yeah. soccer, if the ball goes in the net, I know up oh, they yeah. got a point. You yeah. know, so you're right that something is going to have to be created because even in gymnastics, I think those moves are ranked. Like yeah, that vocabulary yeah. of moves. So if I just come out and just do a backflip and somebody comes out and does a twist backflip, yeah. then they automatically know as per some judging system that they've been using for a long time that that twist ranks higher than my regular back handspring. Yeah. 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 But we so, don't know if a flare, two flares, does that rank higher than two rotations <laughs> of a 90? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, yes. So that's why it's going to be super difficult, I think. But we have to do it. But it's going to be hard. Because I mean, for kind of event like Red Bull, for example, because it's one of these, the, I mean, it's the best competition one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, in terms of production and the lineup, even if you are not from the scene, and even if you don't really understand, it's okay because um, it's it's kind of um, it's just for it's not just for breaking scene, but most most part we're gonna see that is breaking scene. Maybe your dad, maybe my mom, but that's it. You right. know, like <laughs> yes, yeah, just for fun, one one round and then it's, it's finished. You know, but right, right, right. Yes, Olympic. It's it's like people gonna discover something. Like even if they know, maybe they know like. Old people like they know like oh back in the days I remember my friend do backspin like but that's it so they don't have the vocabulary mm -hmm. so we have to educate and it's gonna be super long so I think yes Olympic is just come like a light we put, we're gonna put light on this um, even a, a culture like. Mm -hmm. I hope it's gonna be more like culture than sports, but it's another topic. It's gonna be super hard. To, <laughs> yes, and uh, and and I mean to for people to understand. I think it's gonna be the it's gonna be super difficult. Yes. Right. And yeah. And the my big biggest concern is one of the things that I think is most important: the music. Yeah, the music. What? Yes. Because yes. I I mean not to you know not to down Red Bull or anything, but they don't play in my, when, when I hear Red Bull events, the average Red Bull event, I don't hear songs that make me want to move. Yes. I don't understand how these like Red Bull athletes even pulled the stuff off that they pulled to that music because yeah. I'm like, how did you, they're great at pretending that they have the feeling yeah. because I don't get like the feeling from those like just random repetitive sound, you know, boom, da -da -doom, da -da -doom, da -da -doom, da -da -doom. I like yeah. that doesn't make me say, oh, I'm about to kill it right now, you know, yeah. but you throw on, you know, um, I don't know, got to have a mother for me by James Brown and I'm going to lose my mind. Yes. Nah, you yes. know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yes, the, the point is that because it's the, you know, the, this events, there, there is a streaming of about this event. Maybe they're going to use on YouTube or something. So they have to put clear music. Like the rights is too expensive, like to, um, yes, to, um, uh, to, to, how to explain that, to, to buy the, the right for, for um, a sample, just a sample about uh, James Brown, it's so, super expensive. So in a previous Ask and Answered session, I talked about fans making cover videos and posting them on YouTube and Facebook. And I explained that when you include a musical composition, even if it's your own recording of the song, in a video or film, you need special permission called a synchronization or sync license from the owners of the copyright in the song. So here's how you get that license. Now it's actually pretty simple conceptually. To f you find out who owns the copyright. You submit a request and then you wait for an approval called a quote. If you agree to pay the required license fee in a written contract that they prepare, that's it, you're done. But in practice, this is a bit more complicated. That's because lots of songs are written by multiple songwriters, collaborators, and each of those songwriters might be represented by a different publishing company, and you need permission from all of them. So you've got to track down all those publishers so you can ask. 
Now, a good place to start all this is by looking at the liner notes of the recording of the song you're using. But wait, this is the 21st century, I know, and you're probably listening to an MP3 that doesn't come with liner notes. Or on a streaming service. Again, no liner notes. So, okay, check out the source where you got the music in question and see if it lists the names of the songwriters and their publishers, and then run a Google search on those companies. Or, just as easily, head over to ASCAP.com and BMI.com and search their repertoire. Then, contact each publisher shown and request the permission for the use you have in mind. And then you wait for the quote and then the license agreement, which you have to read and understand and comply with its terms. And that is how you clear music rights. C'est oh, trop they, cher. Yes, so the only way they find is to create their own music. And of course, it's difficult to feel the same vibe that this kind of music that Mexican, uh, like, yes, like James Bond music. Or, yes, of course, it's hard. And you can feel it. I mean, with the new generation, sometimes we, we start to miss something about the, the vibe. Mm -hmm. That's how, how we can do that. So I don't know too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. But I, you know, I hope for the best because I know there's a lot of people that are really looking forward to it. So I hope, you know, whatever experience that, you know, a, a B-boy or B-girl hopes to get out of, the, out of the Olympics, I hope they get it, whatever that is for yeah. them, you know? Yeah. No doubt. Now, you brought this up a little while ago about how there's very few people um, really in France that are focused on foundation and that is mostly like power and tricks. How would you describe, well, bef before you even describe that, why is it that France, because from the outside looking in and like the people I talk to and know, like from the, the U.S., we look at France like if you watch a battle with French people, it's going to be a lot of tricks, a lot of power. <laughs> And a lot of uh, aggression and sometimes <laughs> rudeness. <laughs> why? Why is that the approach of the of the of the French? There is a common stereotype that French people are rude and unfriendly. Whether it's their dry sense of humor or lack of smiling. Admittedly, I felt the same way each time I came back to this country. But that's until I arrived in a place called... Normandy! Normandy. And my entire view of the French has changed. People from Normandy are very nice people, very yes. friendly, yes. very smiley. Look at me. <laughs> I am clearly very smiley, which is completely different when you talk with uh, Parisian people. I can't say that, but believe me, French people talking all about French people are nice people. The truth is that there's a lot more to France than Paris or Nice, the only two cities I had visited prior to now, and perhaps the two most touristy cities. Bonjour! This Western European nation has 67 million people living on 650,000 square kilometers of land, most of it stunning and tranquil, so we shouldn't be so quick to judge an entire country based on the capital city. Normandy is a northwesternmost region of France that we've all heard about in our history books because D-Day occurred on these beaches 75 years ago last week. It's also known for its historical monuments, scenic countryside, culinary surprises, and you guessed it, the warm hospitality. Bienvenue en France, welcome to France. Oh, okay. Um, in my in my side, I, I mean, uh, what I what I know and what I what I experience about mm. breaking in France, it's you know the most parts of people from my generation are clearly from the hood, you know, from the the ghetto, and so it's the, we use breaking like a way to. You know, to how, how to explain that to, to to feel better and to forget about all this issue in life, and mm -hmm. so there is something rude uh, in in France about uh, about breaking. That that's true, and so of course uh, during this this two thousand period, like two, from two thousand to two thousand eight nine, yes, of course. Uh, uh people was super um how to explain like in battle the the vibe was yes like kind of there is no fight but sometimes was super rude like and because we also like represent something like for legitimate obstruction we represent our city we represent our way to dance and 
So when it's time to battle against Pokemon, for example, that's where at this time was the like the the the, the best uh, the rival, yeah, the rival, yes, totally that. So say, we don't have choice like to be like super strong to pretend to be rude also. So yes, so about intimidation and all of this was mm -hmm. totally part of breaking in in France. Yes, now it's not like this anymore. Still, still a little because right. uh, you know we we did it for more than ten years. So there is still that, but. People now they know more each other. There is the social media, so we can talk. But back in the days, yes, it was like right. okay, yes, so, like you just say hello, hello guys, and then there is no talk. Right? Then it's on, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt. And I wonder. Um, I don't know. So, so you know, that's why having a conversation with you is so great because you know we don't know what's going on in France, or like in America, the crews. And the crew, like crew competitions so on, or so on and so forth, has been on a serious decline, right? It's more like one on one, two on two, three on three. Yeah. In France, are you guys still, um, do you guys still have a lot of crew competitions or is it the same thing? No, it's totally the same thing. I think it's kind of international things. Not totally international, but because I saw these people from Japan and Russia, they are still like able to have a good crew uh, connection, crew battle. But yes, in France, it's kind. It's like the USA. People focus more on the one-on-one -on -one battle, and even the way they. It's more about educational things. I mean, now there is more. Uh, there is there is good new generation, but they learn breaking with a teacher. You know, so it's totally different. Like. They learn breaking and maybe they, they, they start with a crew, but they just want to be like famous on one on one battle. And I mean, when I start breaking, I never think about that, like to do some one on one battle in, on my head was it doesn't exist. Like if I dance, it's with my crew, you know, right. one, it means not, for me, it, it was yes, impossible to do something. It, alone. Was, just, it was just a foreign concept. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yes, it, yes, totally. That the, the concept was I dance with people like so. Of course, I'm gonna represent myself mm -hmm. inside the crew, but it's with my crew, you know. And right, be, and I love it. Like yes, I love it because I have the support of my friend. I have the pressure of my friend, but I super love it, you know. And and now yes, maybe people. Uh, Forget about this, and I'm sad about that. That's true because 
Right. I think it's better to start with a crew to push yourself to be better, to understand many things. When you start alone and you just focus on one on one competition, you miss a big part of the hip hop culture and how right. to have exchange with people. So yes, but you yeah, see, when when I think of the great rivalries in breaking history, yeah, I very rarely think of one guy versus another guy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't think of. Like, let's say, for instance, if it was like New York City Breakers versus Rocksteady, right? You don't yeah. think of just legs versus one of the New York City Breakers, guys. You no, think no. of this crew and all of their character personality and yes. traits and moves versus this crew and all of their characters, personality, so on and so forth. And when yes. you bring up, you brought up Legitime versus Pokemon. Yeah. Right? What if it was just you versus Lilu? That wouldn't have been as great as great yeah. as Legitime Obstruction. Versus Pokemon crew representing yes. your city, your your friends, your you know your history, so on and so forth. But yeah, no, I, I feel you one hundred percent. Yes, yes, no. So now, yeah, we lose something. I hope, I hope it's kind of periodic things. I but it's obvious that now there is more one on one battle. Maybe it's because of economic system. I don't know, but yes, we miss something. That I'm sure about that. Yes, no doubt. So what if could you um, categorize the French approach to to like training and and to battling and not even just each other like just in general what is your what do you think is your country's like approach to preparing and then exhibiting the skills yes so um it, it depends about the period also because uh back in the day we 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 practice as a crew and uh for me i practice kind of there is two like two two different practice there is the practice with the crew like we start to work of about routines and about the connection with the the crew and there is the solo practice that i have to push myself to be better and on this practice sometimes i just practice move like okay i have to practice windmill so i just practice kind of like a robot like i have to um, to have this move was not so bad because I really want back in the days to have to add move of, uh, to my um, vocabulary. Vocabulary, yes, I, yes. Mm -hmm. And 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 then when I start to feel good with my vocabulary, I can enjoy. So I can enjoy and I can play with all of this vocabulary. So I just put music and I dance more like a freestyle. Mm -hmm. But it was a different period because back in the days was more with my crew. I have this kind of mission. So I prepare my set kind of robot, you know, like I have to do like this, this, and I have this part of freestyle inside mm -hmm. because I want to connect with music. But that's true. That's before I was more like, uh, yes, I have to do this move, then this move, then this move, then little part of freestyle things. We will see if it's okay or not. <laughs> uh, yes. yes. And, and then slowly, slowly, more have vocabulary, more I'm able to to play, you know, like, uh, so, okay, I got my vocabulary, so now I don't care, and I'm just going to play with my move, and then I can I can enjoy the music and do whatever I want, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think it was pretty much the same for many people in France, and you can see that because if you s watch some battle from back in the days, some people are, are like really like a robot. Yes, it's, that's true, you know. And I think it was not just in France. I, I mean, I think it was global things. And and now, I think it's for the new generation, it's pretty much the same. Like the way they are, I don't know about all the teacher, but some teacher, they prepare these kids as a robot, you know. Mm. And it's not so good, like, the because i saw because i judged some events so i saw these people with like a paper like trying to add uh, this move and then this move and then this move and wow i mean i got it because i did it before so i i mm. can't blame these people I, I because you feel more secure you know like okay i have this move i have this move but that's true that's if they want to enjoy more and and be able to have this connection with people around it's better to do it with freestyle because mm -hmm. you miss something when you dance like this. You miss the connection and the vibe around you because you focus too much 
on your set like uh like like this like uh, uh, that's that's memory you play with your memory but there is no connection like okay this move this move this move so so i i i think there is still this way to practice in france like people they focus too much on the um, the sets the sets yes than the freestyle parts mm -hmm. it's start to change we have some good people from the new generation they they, they bring this again like there is people like from from downtown membre du groupe euh, Electron Libre. Donc euh, Carlos, Kila, Evan, Kyle. On a rencontré Evan. Clairement j'avais cette envie de créer un truc nouveau parce que ce groupe il me... on a progressé ensemble mais il y avait quelque chose, une identité qui, qui s'était perdue. À partir de ce moment là on a commencé à chiller ensemble. On s'est dit pourquoi pas monter un crew. From Downtown, on l'a créé à 4. C'était en 2014. Après, on a rencontré les gars, euh, Ko Onizi, Cisco, Vin, Kae, Ayen, c'est des mecs, j'étais en compagnie avec eux euh, il y a longtemps. Donc en vrai, ça s'est fait euh, naturellement. It's the new, it's not the new crew now, but I mean, they are here from five, six years now and they are, they are good on it. Like they, they have this culture about, okay, there is music, so we're gonna try to make the connection. Mm -hmm. And because they, they start to, because they are like good people start to follow this uh this trend, trend. Uh, yeah. not a trend i mean yeah, for me it's just normal but right, right. And it, it, it's nice but we we still have these people also they they practice like a set and i understand that i i told you i don't blame but i think it's something that they have to start to feel more comfortable with music and with freestyle dance mm -hmm. so yes and and i think the, like uh you know to your point I think the ones who focus just on the uh, set, they're probably of an age where all they knew was competitions. Like, like, because like they're of probably in their 20s or in their, you know, maybe early 30s, right? Yes. So when they came into breaking, yep. it was already competitions versus if you come in and, you know, there's some competitions and then there's just some ciphers and then there's just, you know, like if you if you come into it and all you know is the big stage, then you kind of yes. follow the rules of the big stage. Right. Yes. 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 It's kind of uh, for format uh, things. Like, right. OK. Right. It's big stage. So I have to be like this, 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 this. But that's not true. I mean, because even if it's a big stage, there's still this connection with with people or, or even if it's not with people because you know uh, for example there is a lot of battle like a streaming battle because there is mm -hmm. no more possibilities to have people too much people it depends about which country but right so even of uh, this you can feel if this the guy enjoy really like he's enjoy himself like during what he's gonna do so right yes yeah i mean it makes sense for people that young people because I told you maybe they feel better to have something in their head like, okay, I know I'm going to do this. I know I'm going to do that. So I feel better. But I hope that slowly, slowly they're going to understand that they just have to be free. Of course, there is move. You can't pretend to be like, I have nothing on my head and I just let let go. I, I mean, it's possible after some years of practice and some years of, of battle and experience. Mm -hmm. Like me today, uh, even if I start to dance, I totally don't know what I'm gonna do. Your so the body good part just takes over, yeah. Yes, the good part is maybe it's gonna be good. I hope, but sometimes it's just <laughs> kind of ceases footwork and then nothing. But I don't care, you know, because right. I don't care because it's like this. I'm 40 years old, so that's right. It. You're having fun, yeah. Yes, I have fun. That's the point. But I mean, for competition format, I can understand that it's obvious that you have to to be able to put this kind of blow up inside so mm -hmm. to make it this blow up there is just one way so because there is just one way you have to you know to repeat this way like to make it happen so right. yes makes sense and actually i'm still happy to see that also this kind of blow up so mm -hmm. yes 
I think it's mixed between something you already know, like some blow up or some special tricks inside and freestyle. This is the good mix and it can be good like this. Yeah. No doubt. Now, um, if you had to pick three battles, right, uh, with your crew, Legend Team Obstruction, right? Yeah. That you say kind of defined the crew, right? Or just your three most memorable battles, what would they be? The, the my like my best battle with my crew, something like that. Yeah, the ones that you remember the most. Wow, there is a lot, but I think the 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 best one was uh, Pokemon versus Legendary Obstruction was in two thousand eight in France, actually. Mm -hmm. It was qualification for uh, B-Boy units in Korea. Mm. And this one was super nice because people are waiting for that. Like they're totally wait for this battle. So, and actually it was not uh, the, many people back in the days, they, they were thinking that they, it was the final, but it was not. It was, even it was not the semi-final, it was the quarter final. And uh, <laughs> isn't it and, crazy how sometimes the, uh, the one of the early battles can be better than the, the whole every other yes, battle? <laughs> yes. I, and I still I, I, I'm not I'm sure that still people think that it was the final, but actually, no, it was not the final. And uh, and yes, it was it was super, super dope. We were already like super ready for this battle. We prepared this by like, I don't know, six months before and we won and was super the super nice you know so uh, this one it, it was one of my best the other one was in korea because it was my first uh, big travel I, I mean i was already uh, traveled with my crew in some country close to to france mm -hmm. uh, like other european countries yes european country but this one was yes like uh, korea totally different culture and in korea back in the days you know what i mean was the in 2007 eight yeah. it was with legendary crew there is a lot of crew the, a lot of studio the, there is no country like this even i know in usa there is no this in france there is no like this crew they have all the studio like there is the river studio Gambler Studio. Let's see what a world famous champion crew like Gamblers does. How they do. Okay, let's see. Let's go. Go. Here we are in their main foyer. I guess this is the reception area or something like that. You know, this is the tables and stuff. If we want to sit down and talk, they got all the crews on the wall. A little welcoming desk over here for information. Yes, in English it says information. See, check it out. Information, right? You want information on the crew? Just check out their velvet wall, yes. They do not use cork, 
they use very fine textured velvet that when you check out the schedule, you go, whoa, nice velvet, okay? Let's check out the first room, okay? Oh, over here, before we check out the first room, here is a little meeting room, very nice, just for meetings and stuff like that. Every crew should have a meeting room, just in case you have big business, okay? Like how to win battle of the year, like twice. Okay, let's go. Check it out. Gamblers is practicing with their secret creation practice, okay? They're using the studio right now, so let's check it out. Let's go. Okay, so, as you can see, they're practicing really hard. What happens to people who want to practice and they're using the room? Well, they got another studio right here. Let's go check that out. Go take a quick peek at their secret practice again. <laughs> okay, so those are the two rooms that are being used right now. How do you know which room to use? You go check out the office. Whoa. Yep, mad computers and everything, okay? Well, mm -hmm. it was like totally crazy, like, okay. We arrive um, uh, and the day after the, the um, we arrive, so the, we we go out from the hotel and there is a bus and there is people that are waiting for us to sign, like you know, like a real like a star, yeah, pop star. You guys you know? were like pop stars, huh? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. like, I was like, yes, <laughs> no, I was no way. It's not possible. How it's possible. <laughs> Like, no, no, come on. Yeah, I just do three step and six step. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, leave me alone. It's okay. But yes. <laughs> no, it was crazy. Like, and even the stage was a big stage, like totally not, super nice, like with the big brand Adidas. Even in France, we don't have this kind of, uh, we, did, we didn't have, now it's better, but not like this but we we can't have sponsor like a big brand like this so right because you said you your know, funding was coming from the government so you guys weren't probably yes even, that's yeah. right yes and there is also people like, there is a tv show like they follow uh, the french team like okay so so it was crazy like that's dope the experience was crazy and uh, even the the crow was crazy because I have these memories. Uh, I, I, I did some of my variation, my footwork variation that I like. It's something that I do like with, I have a strange leg and I turn around my own legs. And people, you know, back in the days, footwork was was okay, but people didn't really. They they're just waiting for a flip uh, and. Mm. Everything. But I did this variation, and people was like, Whoa, like this. I was like, Whoa. <laughs> they got like, it right. They understand. Yeah, yeah, they understand. So they they knows like they knows that it is my blow up in my my set. I was like, right, okay, right, got it. <laughs> yes, I was super happy. So. Korea B-Boy Nits uh, 2007 or 8, I don't remember, but it was one of my best too. And uh, it was difficult because I have also this this two-on-two -two battle with my friend Vince. So Vince is the other guys who, who in my crew, it's, it's my best friend and we had this kind of footwork style. So it's the second one with me to have this time in the legitimate subscription. And we did uh, in 2010 the 2010 the World B Boy Classic qualification.
in oh, wow. uh, yes and back in the days it's not like this anymore but back in the days there is it, it was like there is two battles there is the qualification and there is the main stage battle but the qualification it's like there is a 200 teams uh, wow. and the way they did yes yeah, so you pass first the qualification like the judge just see if you are good or not and then when there is like 100 crew or something like that they just pick the, the, it's just one set you know it's super fast and then when it start to be like uh, just 30 crew or something like this there is a card and this the concept is crazy like you just mentioned the crew like okay so legend obstruction is still in the competition so who want to to battle against legend obstruction you know so it's like oh, that wow. like who like oh, me 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 it's, it's like right. this or, or or even for us like who want to battle i don't know um uh Usher kids oh, me 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 yes you know so for sure at the beginning the people just want to to battle the crew that they are not so famous you know and it's fair i got it because we did the same like we right, want right. to battle uh x x crew uh, from uh, romania or i don't know yeah. Italy or even france or so yes 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 let's go because i want to pass the qualification and then right. but of course at the end there is just the big crew you know like the the, the, the best so it's it's kind of difficult and this feeling Okay, I, I, I may be uh, kind of proud of this. It's not good to say that, but, you know, <laughs> it's more the ego. You know, it's my ego trip, okay? There you go. When, when they say legitimate obstruction, everybody was... <laughs> 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 like, yes, like, no, 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 please, no. All of a sudden, they didn't understand. Like, what was going on? I don't <laughs> know. I don't... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's true that... Vince and me at this moment, we, 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 we go on this, but we were super ready. We were uh, red stuff. We were like, we, we are like super ready to dance. Right. We have the same stuff, the same style. We are ready and we won a lot of battle before. So yes, it was so super good. But so we pass this qualification and we go to the main stage. But after that, it's like, you know, it's just one or two hours after so we did like i don't know uh, 12 rounds like, 12 <laughs> round, like each each 12 one each and it's time wow. to battle against the guests that they get they are super fresh they did nothing and so we 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 battle against uh, you from japan was guy super uh, good in footworks and born from korea <laughs> <laughs> i was like <laughs> I want to cry, you know, like okay. this is the end of the day, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna finish soon. So I'm super right. proud to be able to dance with my friend Vince, but sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. So we did the best at this moment. We lose. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was nice, yes, to to be able to dance again these people. But I feel sad because people just you know, it's the there is the video, but of course there is no video about the qualification because people doesn't care they don't care about that. Right, right. Yes, there is just people about the main event, of course, and of course from the main event we were not so so good. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so they didn't get to see the best of you guys when you guys were yes. killing everybody. Yes. <laughs> they got it's, to. It's totally not fair. It's totally they got to see the, the tired version. Yes. Right. No it's, not, it's not fair but it's like this and my and it's a good memories I, I i i can put it on my best three uh mm -hmm. with my crew i mean alone i have different experience but for we with my crew was was super nice yes that's so you know you mentioned that you know the the funding a lot of the funding for these you know big production events that you guys have in france comes from the government Yep. Do you know how do they how do they pack the building? Like, do they make commercials on TV or like is it radio commercials? Like, how do they market these events? Because it seems like a lot of just regular people are at the event, not necessarily dancers. When you look into the crowd, yes. Uh, so how uh, sorry how they make it? They uh, made it back in the days or like no, now? No, like how do they, how do they market it? How do they how do they get the word out to the people so that? just regular moms and dads and their kids come yeah i don't i i, I mean for me it's gonna be some it's, it's so 
in France, I told you it was more from the government. So, of course, like if there is people, it's nice. If there is no, say it's not so bad. You know, you're like, just there to compete. You don't care how everybody does. <laughs> yes. But that's true. Now the we we have to find another way because um, we have to find this this things that they already did in skateboard or, B, or BMX or something like that, like to be able to have sponsor, to be able to represent something. And it's hard because there is not too much equipment in breaking, actually. Mm-hmm. There is just the fashion style, you know, like the, the fashion, the, the, the hat, the, the cap, the pants. So yes, there is something to do with some brand, but it can be difficult. Uh, and even for the... Um, Sometimes you see that breaking is rude. So even for this, this is something that maybe we have to control to make it like the smart, you know, like, okay, these people are dancer, like super professional dancer. And maybe, maybe brands going to start to follow. But it's, it's happened in Korea back in the days. Now I'm not sure it's, it's still maybe, but not like before. So yeah, because not I like remember the, like... The, yeah, not like yeah. the R16 days. Yes, yes. Yes, and I remember that, like for example, for in Bibo Unit, mm-hmm. uh, Reverse was uh, sponsored by Nike, and it mm. was crazy. Like I, like you, oh, realize, you, like, you mean when they used to wear those Nike, uh, those yeah, those those, the jack, those track jackets with the V right here? Yeah. Oh, totally. Yes, and I I saw that like they they have it's crazy the story they they, they put the 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 uh, the, 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 the package uh, not the on the on the on the stage like they put this they open and they oh your 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 track suite oh, your oh jacket, wow like this like i was like no it's not fair <laughs> <laughs> because we for us we bow it, we bow you, you we try to make it like nice and we 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 bought uh, the white things like all of my crew bought uh, a Nike jacket white but right. we put money you know like we, and then we you they just right, open the box like Christmas <laughs> yes. so yes I mean it's possible but I don't know how now they're gonna do how I don't know I don't know how it's gonna be possible to make it nice like this. Because I mean for some country maybe it's okay. Like I see like Japan, for example, they they have some brand like uh, Champion, I think they follow uh IU and uh, Ami. Uh there is also uh Casio for the G Shock. So I I see that. That's I mean, in France, there is no sponsor. Uh, USA, there is, I think there is not too much sponsor. So Yeah. The yes, only thing that we have here are, you know, a couple of the Americans that are on the Red Bull team and a couple that are on the Monster team. That's it. There's no, there's no yeah. other brand. Which is, which if you think about it, is crazy because way more B-boys wear Nike than drink Red Bull or Monster. I don't even know any B-boys. I might know one B-boy that drinks Monster. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like they actually drink yeah. it, but every almost every b boy I know wears Nike. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. Yes, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 funny. And about this sponsor, it's nice to 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 have these two brands like Red Bull and Monster. But it can be better if we also have different, like you know, like how to do like in skate and BMX, like more brand, like for uh, make more sense about. Uh, about clothes, uh, yes, or different equipment. I I don't know, but yes, we will see. Maybe because of Olympics, maybe it's gonna change. But we will see. I'm not sure. Yep. Or even one of the um the soda brands that make water, because Coca Cola owns yep. the different water thing, and we all drink water. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yes. of course, yes. Or yes. a Gatorade sponsorship, or something like that. You know, yeah. more than a, you know, whatever than than Red Bull or monster it would make more sense but you know so jay uh we're almost done but i gotta put you on the hot seat before uh before i let you go yes i gotta you're gonna have to throw your opinion out there and you know some of your your french uh countrymen might come after you so who makes the french olympic team who make yeah give me the five people in your opinion if you if you were the the organizer of the French team. Ooh. I need five. 
actually give me seven five guys and the two girls <laughs> so if i had to to create a team mm -hmm. five okay. guys two girls okay five guys first i'm sure about that and this guy is from my crew so it's not so fair, but <laughs> Let's wait, 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 before you, you before you say it, you're not gonna it's not gonna be legend team, legend team, legend team. Legend team. No, no. <laughs> okay, okay. Even if, if this guy was not in my crew, I have to include it's Khalil. Because uh, yeah. Khalil is super strong and he knows about international uh, stage. He knows how to do it. Like, so for me, it makes sense. So first Khalil for sure. Uh, second is Lagaet. Because Lagaet is also uh, an, inter an international b-boy, like he knows about uh, international competition. That's for me makes sense when you gonna go to the Olympic, even if it's in three years. It's super soon. You have to be able to 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 have to answer to people that they have experience. Um, uh, so still this kind of the same generation. <clears throat> I'm gonna have Lil Kev. Yes, because it's it's like this guy is totally representative about the French scene from back in the days, like super rude, like no one right. want to be, no one want to to battle against Lil Kev. Is you gonna you already know it's gonna not be easy, because mm -hmm. this guy is gonna make a joke about you. <laughs> so totally like, and he's you, gonna blow it up. He's gonna yes, blow it up, and he's yes. gonna come with the mental game. Yes, yes. So I have to add it. Even if this this style is not what I really like, I have to mm -hmm. admit that. But I like the way he, he he make it. Like I recognize this guy push a lot himself. So I always respect people that they don't make a joke with breaking. You know, like they they push himself from more than ten years, like more than twenty years. I mean, so I yes, I I, I put Lil Kev for sure. Uh, so how a uh, free free guy then it's gonna be difficult. Uh, I'm gonna miss people. Maybe they're gonna hate me for that. But <laughs> you know it's difficult to think about all of this. Uh, maybe I'm gonna had uh, I'm gonna had one guy that I really like it. But it doesn't have the big experience uh, on uh, international competition. 
but I really like his way of dancing because it's more that we already talk together. It's super uh, freestyle way. And I like it. It's nasty nut. He's not so famous, but he's super nice. Like his kind of footwork, super uh, light and leg work. And nice. I really like this guy. Like what crew is he from? He's from uh, Immigrants Crew. Okay. Yes, it's a crew. They are like, they are not so young now, but uh, they are like between 20 and 32, 35 years old. And they, they, they are, they, You know, there is this period with, Le with Legitim Obstruction, Pokemon, Face T, uh, and all of this crew. So, Melting Force also. And then there is these people from, uh, you know, the, is the second generation of big crew in France, like immigrants from downtown, uh, Bad Trip also. So, yes. Right. Uh, it's difficult. It's not easy. There is also... One, one more. Yeah, one more. So... Because he also have this experience about big stage. Uh, I have a uh, uh, pack pack. Okay. Really dope. Yes, he connect with the. He is able to connect with music. Right. And I had this guy, and I, 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 I think it can it can be good. But the point is that he's super freestyle. So sometimes it can, it can be like super nice, and sometimes he just doesn't really care. Wow. But so sometimes he's gonna get the 10 for France, and then sometimes he's gonna get like the six. Yes. No doubt. Yes, but he's super, he's super good for sure. So yes, I there is a lot of people that I, I, I like. Also, uh, guys, his name is Nasso. <laughs> From Mating Force back in the days, now he, now he's from uh, La Squad. I, I like this guy also. He's super uh, technical and he still push himself and he, and I have a lot of respect for, for this guy also. And there's a lot actually, but yes. Yeah, so my five was this guy, and for the two girls, uh, there is one I'm sure because I realized um, that she's young, but she's 15. 
that I will, yes, but I saw some battle from her like uh, last week and I, I already know that she can be good, but she, I think she can be like really good. His, his name is, uh, her name is Kimi. And Kimi is also from immigrant school, and and she's uh, she's dope. And I think if she had the good preparation for the for the Olympic, she she's gonna be like super. She ready. can make the team. Yes, no doubt. And we have also San Andrea. She's already uh, ready. Like for me, um, Sandra is now the best uh, bigger in France. Oh, so wow. yes, so I'm gonna put Sandra and Kim. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Hey, if you did not make Jay's list, do not come for him on Instagram. It was nothing personal. <laughs> <laughs> I only gave him five. It's, it's not his fault. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so. The bigger question is who takes home the gold, silver, and then bronze? Ooh. Uh, it's going to be super hard. If I have to, I'm sorry for my country because it's not good to say that. But <laughs> again, I, if, again, if I, disclaimer, no. do not come for Jay. Do yes, not come for I'm him. I'm sorry. But if I have, I'm sorry, sorry. But to, if, if it's now, 2021, I'm sorry, but I'm pretty much sure that Russia or Japan gonna have the gold. Okay, yes. So that's yeah. your gold and silver interchangeable. Yes, for me it's obvious now. 2021, it's mm -hmm. obvious. Yes, yes. Even if it's uh, uh, for the young Olympics, young Olympics, mm -hmm. there is the French guys made it to the second place. Mm -hmm. Boy Martin is is good also, okay. but what now he from? he's from uh, uh, Calais. Is from the north. Uh, is from the north part of France. Okay, it's a young guy and he is good also. He, he, he can be also ready for the Olympic actually, but uh, he needs more experience. I, I mm -hmm. imagine international experience. I mean, right. and um, so. Yes, but if it's now, I mean, for me, it's obvious like Japan or Russia. And I hope France for the third. For the bronze. <laughs> I hope. But there is also USA that I saw now. Uh, it's crazy because I think uh, during this difficult period of the COVID, uh, mm -hmm. USA, uh, or, uh, you know, try to still have some events, even if it was the Instagram online. event or something, mm -hmm. yeah, online event. And so they, I saw now this young 
Gael Nelson. Guy, Wait, say your name again. Nels one, Nels one, Nels one. Nels one. It's difficult for I, me. Yeah, to okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, uh, he he was second on freestyle session last week, lah. Okay. Yes, against Victor. So next yeah. one, maybe it's this it's name. Yes. So you really yeah. liked him? Wow. Oh, well, yes. Yes. Ah, oui. I say it in French. Oui, oui, oui. Oui, oui, oui. <laughs> ah, oui. Yes, this guy is good. For me, it's it's super dope. The way he dance, I like it. It's kind of freestyle things. And uh, mm -hmm. yes, he's good. No yes. doubt. But, then, but you say he didn't win because Victor won. Do you think Victor could pull a medal? Ah, but uh, Victor is in uh, other level. Uh, the way that's now actually that's true i can't deny it. it's like obvious this guy is super light mm -hmm. super like i don't know when he's tired like i can't i can't see when this guy is tired like right yes like my view on him and you know it's nothing personal i think that he's dope at breaking he has a great vocabulary of breaking it seemed like he could do almost all the moves that are there he has some original things that he does he has some signature things that he does yeah. but he's just not my cup of tea oh. like there's a there's a guy in my crew yep uh shout out to godson he thinks that that, that dude is the dopest you know what i'm saying he's like yeah. victor is the yes. dopest and yes. me i'm just like in in breaking he's dope yep in my personal you know chris or ill skills opinion there's other people that I, I, I would pick better, you know, that I ah, think are better. You know what I'm yes, saying? So yes. I can understand because I mean I, I can I, I I can follow you for some part because uh I remember but as some years ago I was thinking the same, like it's okay, but you know, like I right. need something more. Yes. And that's true that there is some people that I really like the way they dance, like uh Jeff Ho. <laughs> Example, Jeffro, like yeah, the, yes. I think he's from Texas, right? Yeah, Jeffro. Yes, so this kind of guy I really like because they are like super fast, super like I don't know, but yes, it's mm -hmm. different the way they are they break. Yeah, yeah I like it. So and, I, yeah, and not to not to be <laughs> one of the things that I'm and, and and I could be wrong, you know, and and I'm okay with being wrong, you know. I'm in my forties. If I'm wrong about something, whatever, it is what it is, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> if you don't, I don't like the way. This, this is going back to, uh, you know, just certain B-boys. If you don't dress a certain way, I don't want you representing our country. I don't want you over in France looking like a, you know, like a like a vagabond. I want you to be, you know, I want you to have the dope clothes, just like look the part. I want you to look the part, and then I want you to physically to be able to perform the part. You know what I'm saying? And some of these B-boys, as dope as they are, I see how they dress, and I'm already turned off. Like, not, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you know, you and I both know hip-hop is about fashion as well you know what i'm saying there's definitely a fashion component and especially when you're talking about b-boys who created a lot of fashion trends in yes. hip-hop you know what i'm saying so it's yeah. just like 
you know, I've seen some of your footage and your pictures, and you know, you you dress fly, got the dope shoes on. You know what I'm saying? Your your clothes is fitting cool. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You looking dope, and and to me, that's step one. Yep. Yeah. I I follow you. I follow you. Yeah. <laughs> I, yes. uh, what is it? Uh, I, I, I follow it? you. Je, je suis d'accord. Oui, je suis d'accord. Yes, je totally that. Yes, I follow you, but uh, you know, I try to you know sometimes I try to just be able to. Op- be more like open-minded even right. if i don't it's like the it. old it's the old guy in me i know it is i know it is and yes. if i've yes. i apologize for it yes. but then i don't apologize for it at the same time but yeah i follow i follow you because i think it's part of the culture the the way you dress is part of the culture yes like mm-hmm. now back in the days you can see that the people they they really have this this fashion style about breaking there is something like you can see it like the, the the this kind of jacket, like open jacket or something. Yes, there is something we we can't deny. There is a style, and of course, in France, there is some people that totally don't care about the style. <laughs> and it hurts my eyes, you know. Like I'm like, oh, ah. So, but then they it, kill it. Then they kill it with the moves, <laughs> and you're just like. Oh. You want to start a GoFundMe to buy them some clothes so that the next competition <laughs> they look all the way good. <laughs> just like yes, yes. So hey, I, got it. I remember, get it. It's like the old commercials for one for one dollar a day. <laughs> you can you can sponsor a b boy to help them dress better, man. Yes, oh my that, god! But anyway, true. I digress. Yes, <laughs> no, but I got I got you totally. But no you know, I have to. Yeah, I have to be able to say, okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's like this now. I have to accept, you know. It's not gonna be me. Gonna, I'm not gonna judge if the guy is good. Is good, but that's true. That if this guy have better pants or <laughs> better jacket, he can be better than now. So yes, right, uh, right, yes. Funny now. Parts. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the last thing I want to uh, talk about. So the breaking world is going to converge on your country here in uh, in about three years. Yes. Right. Um, in your opinion, why should someone, you know, because it's going to be an expensive trip, right? Nobody's coming to Paris and expecting yeah. discount prices, right? You got to pay for your flight. You got to pay for your hotel. You're not going to stay a weekend. You got you. You know what I'm saying? So you're probably going to be out there a week. The yeah. events to my knowledge, are probably not going to be what we're used to paying at a jam, like 20 bucks. It's probably going to be a little bit more expensive. Yeah. In your opinion, why is it important, if it is important, that we dig into our pockets and, and that we show up and support? I, I, I got you, and I think it's going to be difficult because hip-hop culture and breaking in general is not the... Um, you know, there is. I told you before, there is not money in, in this. Uh, we are not like um, I don't know, like um, this kind of things. I don't know in English right. with the we're, horse. You know, horses. Yeah, thing. <laughs> equestrian. Yes, or Formula One things. I don't know. Or football. Even football, there is money. Yeah. But yes, uh, or soccer. I mean, because uh, I know in this. <laughs> so yes. Um, uh yeah i think it's gonna be hard actually uh for people from europe europe it's gonna be okay i mean from spain belgium and people just around france they can it's just they a can train afford... ride for you for those guys right yes yes or you can have a flight not expensive so it's mm-hmm. it's okay okay so yes but i think after for people from different country if there is no help for the government of some I don't know in English, but maybe association. We say in France, like you, you start to like corporation. You start to buy something. Oh, together. okay. You mean like a non-profit type thing? <laughs> yeah, okay. or school, or maybe dance school or something like that. Okay. Maybe it's possible if they have money from uh, from the the class or something mm-hmm. like that. But yes, to support is gonna be. It can be hard for for people from over the overseas like uh, USA uh, right. or. Um, South America, uh, Africa. I mean, uh, it's right. gonna be hard. Yes, I. So I, I don't know. I think it's not Should gonna we make be... it a priority, though. Yes, I mean, maybe it's gonna be not the, and we still don't know. Maybe it's gonna not be the best event to go. You know, if I have to choose, <laughs> I'm not sure about if I'm gonna. Yeah, you see, like I'm not sure about Olympics actually. So yes, right. 
So yes. we should not prioritize supporting the Olympics necessarily. We'll watch it on TV. I if think it, if, can, if they show it. I think it, you can support. Like I don't want to, you know, like even me. If even if I not really care about Olympic, if there is of the, if there is no, I think it's still something good for the community to have this kind of light. It can help for some school. It can help also from kids to you know introduce something like to start working. And then maybe they're going to understand about the culture. So even if they, at the beginning, they understand nothing, they, they see that like a sports. I don't care because maybe later they're going to understand because it's part of my story. I, I start breaking, but I start breaking for just a windmill or handstand or something. And then I realize hip hop culture and everything. So it's like something apart. Like you, you have to put some education on people, but you can start with Olympic and then we will see, you know, but so we can still support this. I mean, it's good. And after that, to go there, I mean, I'm not sure, you know, because it's going to be super expensive. That's so, And it's in Paris and Paris, it's super expensive. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, even for no me, yes, yes. Are Fast. you going to go check? Are you going to go check it out? Yeah, I think I'm going to be there because. Right. I'm part of, you know, the this culture in France. Uh, right. I mean, I follow people uh, on this uh, on this story too because it's something important. So yes, if I can support, I'm gonna support. Yes, no yes. doubt. Yeah, yeah. Now, Jay, uh, before we let you go, man, if somebody wants to follow you on, uh, you know, social media or you know, hit you up about classes or gigs, how do we get a hold of you? The best is just to follow me on Instagram because this is the I use just this platform. I'm not <clears throat> I don't I'm not ready for TikTok. I'm too old for that, sorry. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're one at a time, guys. <laughs> no. One platform at a time. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we never know because back in the day I was I was telling the same for Instagram, like, oh no, I'm too old, but finally. But no, I'm not ready for Instagram, sorry. But uh, for TikTok, sorry. But Instagram, yeah, you can follow me on the J legitim so that's it and i try to put some content it's just about my practice or sometimes i put like today i put a video about some super easy move it's not like ex complete explanation but i just show some move one twice then third then i go fast so if you already have some basic, you can understand it and try it at home. And I always put some something like, okay, try and flip it because it's part of my concept. And the way I understand dance is like, you have the basic, then you flip it. Yes. So I create my footwork with this concept. That is easy concept, I mean, but you have to understand that you can do one move and change for 100 uh, there is 100 way to now maybe more to change this move like so yes no doubt so so you're saying basically get the foundation and then create variations off of it yes it's totally the way i dance like in the way i create my move yes totally this. no doubt yeah well there it is my man b-boy j yes ledger team obstruction episode 26 from france with love yeah man, we appreciate so much you spending time with us um yes, you, like man. i said anytime i can talk to you in my international b-boys and b-girls is definitely a blessing so we appreciate it um you're now you're a part of our legacy a part of our encyclopedia of breaking history uh for yeah. those watching i hope you learned something about france in the past present and then the future going into the olympics uh from talking to you uh, you know, learning something about your your mentality, your approach to breaking men. It's all been very valuable information, and we and we thank you. Thank you too. Thank you very much. Sorry for about my French accent that you see, but no, it's, it's okay, okay <laughs> man. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, man. Yeah, like I said, you, you speak uh, you speak English better than than most of us speak French, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Word. Okay. So yes. again, man, I leave you with our traditional words of yeah. peace. Thank you very much. Peace. Have a good one now. Yep.